going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some News, babe. Hey, thanks, Farm Some News. Today, we've got 10 PC mods in testing. We have 21 console mods in testing. With all those 20 mods were released today. Giants have released a new blog talking about FarmCon 21. Ada Modding's got a new Massey Ferguson Heston Baylor. Calaruga Modding is updating their Camara Bell trailer. Peter 716's got an update to New Brick Farm. Plus, we've got six quick stories for you today. They are back. Let's check it out. In test eight for PC, we have the Agco 265 kilogram belly weight, bucket, Case IH 1455 XL sound, Jamberg Valley, Syncament N233 4x1, KN 2.8 cultivator, KTR 18500, Lyre SP290, Linder GeoTrack Series 4, and still in testing, Neater Saxon 21. In test eight for consoles, we have the 1120 series, Agro Park Weight Pack, Alpine Shed, Case IH Maxim CVX U. US seller cow shed from the 80s Dewey's D8006 13006 farm silo multi fruit JCB telehandler attachments John Deere 6 Ilm series lizard dump trailer lizard PF65 Massey Ferguson ATR series pack medium old cow shed without pasture modern red barn hoppy plains bluebird 3000 small wood trailer Ursus T127 plus Wilker workshop and wheel lock the that being said, we only have two mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 20 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub, including the Demco 22 series green car and the car trailer transport. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Making our way into today's top stories, and we start with the new Farming Simulator podcast that was released today titled FarmCon 20. 21 and goodbye. In this episode, they talked about FarmCon 21, obviously, which was announced a few days ago, and that Elaney would be leaving Giants. Here's a few of the questions that they answered. Old gen versus new gen console hardware for FarmSim 22. It's gonna be like having an older PC versus a newer PC. Performance will be better on the new gen versus the old gen, but they haven't mentioned any differences between the two generations. But they did say that it will be worth having some of the next gen hardware. They also asked, can you still make suggestions for things that you would like to see in FarmSim 22? They say that the game is still in the late development stages, but you are still able to make suggestions for future updates and things like that. Just drop Giants a line on their social media accounts. In addition to the questions, they did announce that the new community manager, Elaney, will be leaving Giants since she was able to find a job more local to her here in the States so that she wouldn't have to move. This is great for her and I wish her the very best. Her position at Giants is now vacant and they will be searching for a replacement. And I'll keep you guys updated once a new community manager from the United States has been chosen. Next up from Adub Monning, he says that a new Massey Ferguson Baylor will be available soon for all platforms, but this isn't just any normal Baylor. This will be a new Heston Square Baylor, more specifically, Massey Ferguson 2270 US Edition. It wasn't said how large the bells are going to be, but likely it'll be around 6,000 liters like the rest of the Heston Baylor's on Mod Hub. I will let you know once we know more, or just check the comment section below. Ada Modding can normally be found down there creeping. I see you. Galaruga Modding say that after the release of their Chimera Tub Tipper today, they're working on an update to the Chimera platform. The changes for this will include new wheel setups, which are much wider and lower than the original version, new dynamic wiring to the axles and brakes, new texture map for wear and dirt, and the addition of interactive control, aka IC, for PC players. This is still a work in progress, but I'm sure we will see it on the in-game mod hub for all platforms soon. And our last main story today is an update to Peter 716's latest map, New Brook Farm. As with every map, there's always an update that needs to be made after the initial release, and this map is no different. The update will be changed log 1.1, added a workshop trigger to the main yard, fix the silage pits not emptying completely, fix some grass not being able to be cut, fix the chicken coop mesh texture that the area around where the chickens are and how they move, that is the mesh texture. They've also fixed not being able to sell slurry at the BGA. They've added the ability to sell potatoes and sugar beets at the BGA. Cows, sheep, and chickens can now be sold, and a new save game is recommended but is not required. 
I would say go ahead and do a new save game with this. It is unclear when this update will be out, but by the looks of it, the update is done and ready to go. This will be an update for all platforms. That might be it for the main stories today, but we do have a handful of short stories, starting with Hulse FS and their BM semi truck. Here you can see an updated photo of the dirt map that will be applied to the trunk. This is the only on the engine and frame being shown here, though the rest of the truck almost finished and will probably be getting the same treatment. Raleigh Christie has a new pickup their next semi truck with paint and grill added to the front with the word revolution or revolution something like that on the front. I'm not exactly sure what it says. We also get the addition of exhaust pipes which were not present in the screenshots that we got yesterday. Solutions Modding say that their John Deere 6 series is gradually coming together. Here the cavern has been added from the last screenshots that we saw with the interior and engine parts being added as well. It was said that there could be an American version added, but at this time, it will only be the Brazilian model that you see here available. We've got another screenshot of FS Modding's new trailer that we talked about yesterday. Here you can see that he's added new pipes and grids to the top of the trailer and is being pulled by their work in progress, the Thunder RT, so you can get an idea for the scale. Farm Central Soul, a new screenshot of their upcoming case lineup with three different engines, the 2870, the 4490, and the 2470. These are just the front ends of the tractor, so they're still being a work in progress, though it is nice to see multiple options being made available for the mod. And lastly today, Connect Modding show off nighttime on their new map, Bakuri Farm. You can see that the lighting is much more dramatic and deeper than the washdown look farm some 19 right now at night. Custom lighting has been very popular over the last year or so, and this map to be no different and my outro to this video will be no different from normal either just like every episode of farm some news links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below there's no release dates for mods so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released if i did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about hey dj where's that thing what happened to it well that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects and Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. We got a fun weekend planned for you. We've got a couple first looks as well as hopefully we'll have some more Farm Sim news for you this weekend. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I'll be Ted. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Alright, who's ready for the Farm Sim Show to come back today? We got Farmer Cop. Don't miss it.